Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will speak about the Daventry. I will tell in this video about the most beautiful places of this town and what historical past it hides. The first place I want to visit is Reservation, which is about 20 minutes from the center. The park centers on Daventry Reservoir, which feeds the Ground Union Channel and there are as well meadows and crack willow woodlands. Birds include yellow hammers, laser white trouts, donks and sunk thrushes. Facility include a bird hide, a nature trail, an adventure playground and a cafe. This cinema was built a year ago which opens up more opportunities to spend time for the locals. The small history core of Daventry centered on this street. In 1203 a market was first recorded at Daventry. The market benefited from Daventry's location. Until the 1915 Daventry was a small market town with a population of around 4000. Little is known about the original church at the site. It was built between 1752 at a cost of 3400, equivalent to 502,000 in 2022. Reflecting Daventry's prosperity, many of the town's finest buildings were constructed during this period, including most notably the Holy Cross Church. From AD 30, Daventry had become a major hub of the nation network with more than 250 coaches passing through the town every week, including service between London, Warwick, Birmingham, Liverpool and Cambridge. Every evening the teenagers trying to demonstrate the best performance in driving the scooter on the playground that is the next to the bus station. The only significant industry to develop in the town during 1895 was shoemaking, which at its high in the 1870s employed around 700 workers. In 1925 the newly created BBC constructed a radio transmitting station on Borough Hill just outside the town. Daventry was chosen because it was the point of maximum contact with the land mass of England and Wales. The radio announcement of Daventry calling made Daventry well known across the world. The transmitting station contributed to the town's population, revival as a number of BBC staff and their family move into the area. I will show you more artifacts about these historical events at the local museum. It contains novel clothes recording devices from the last 70 years, the ship that was adopted in the Second World War, and the old railway that was in this place. The opening of the London and Birmingham Railway in 1838 signaled the beginning of the railway age. In 1895 the line was extending to Lamington Spa, however being only a branch line this didn't lead to review the town's economy. After all the above, I would say it is worth a visit. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell.